What's up everyone? It's Nye. I'm back with another video. I'm not even gonna lie, it's been a while since I've sat in front of the camera and done a video like this. Lately, since the last time I uploaded, or the past couple months, whichever comes first, I've been behind the camera a lot. Like, I have a lot of content that I already filmed that I just need to edit. I still have a ton more content that I do need to film. So that's been a whole dilemma, but I'm just trying to figure things out, you know, trying to create some balance in my life right now. But slowly but surely, we're gonna get there. Anyways, don't mind me today. I'm looking crazy. I'm tired. Life's been a little hectic lately. But I have some pickups I want to show you. I have to do this video now. Because if not, it's not going to really get done. Because, you know, some of these, they got to get they gotta get flipped. You know, they got to go. So, we have a Jordan 5. Well, actually, we have three here. You just can't really see all three. Because this thing is kind of short. But I have one grade school pair and two men's pair. They're the what the fives. So, let's get straight into them. As you guys can already tell, the production is going up a little. This is not going to be my main area, but for this video, until my main spot is done, where I'll be filming, I'm just going to stay here. Anyways, let's get into it. Enough of me talking. Let's hop into this grade school pair. So, you know the usual. Five and a half. I was a six before in fives, but all of a sudden, since I got the alternate Bel Air fives, the six is too big, and the five and a half is better from the top three fives. So I was like, okay, maybe the newer releases, I need a five and a half, so we'll see. Either way, I have it. If I need to do a trade. Boom. You know, we always get the little Jordan sticker in grade school. Let's take both pairs out real quick. Just a quick look. So first thing when I um, looked at these a little earlier, this new book, this is not even suede. I'll just say this is new book. I don't know. I get too confused, but new book or suede, whatever, it's not that great on this pair. I'm not even going to lie. It's bad and if you scuff these, it's pretty much going to be messed up. And there's already a few little imperfections, like a little discoloration, as you kind of see on the yellow and the red. But, you know, nothing's perfect in life. Besides the filling of the new book and those little flaws, the overall craftsmanship of this pair is pretty good. Like, especially for grade school, because, you know, the details are a little smaller. The stitching is, like, clean, you know. Not, I don't really see any glue marks, to be honest. Of course, it's not perfect, but... Um, so with What the Five, I think they did a great job with these. So I was thinking, like, if I were to take some time out to plan my own What the Five, get the colorways I wanted, I don't know, I think I wouldn't have took this route, but I think this is a great route they took. Like, I mean, I think they're beautiful. Some people didn't like the red and the yellow, because I guess they stand out, but I'm like, white and black, you know, that's kind of plain. I think it really, you know, brings some attention to the Raging Bull Fives, because that's where the red comes from. Look. We're going to test my sneaker knowledge right now. So, got the Tokyo Fives on the right shoes. You know, the yellow, the low symbol. We got the, I believe the Laser 5 tongue and sock liner. I believe this goes for Laser 5s. If not, it's one other crazy colorway. Got the Bel Air 5 midsole going on here. Got the midsole and the sole. So, yeah, that's it for this side. The left side, Raging Bull 5s, um, Shanghai, yep, the Shanghai symbol, the Green B5 tongues, and the Beller sock liner, and the Quay 54 bottom, I believe so. Oh, and the metallic midsole, yep, my black metallic midsole, boom, I think that's all. I didn't look this up or anything, that's just for my sneaker knowledge. I think it's a great pair, really beautiful. I understand why some people don't like these because they are a loud shoe. I love colors. I love stuff like this. So I had to secure my pair, luckily. And by the way, I got all three pairs from sneakers. I'm going to put that gray school pair aside for just one second. I have the eight and a half and the nine men's. I'm just going to show you the eight and a half. So first things first, that's different. The paper. I don't know. They always do gray school dirty with the paper. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it looks like, actually. So it's kind of almost matching the cement print on the outside of the Jordan 5 box. Boom, so same thing going on with the material. Sometimes it can be a little different between men's and grade school with the filling of the material, but this time it isn't. So, yeah, see? Another example of like the little imperfections. Kind of see it. Same thing going on here. Overall, I think these are a great pair. Right now, they're not going to do crazy for resale, I believe. Ah, uh, another year. 
maybe like sometime next year, springtime, they'll do, they'll start to go up. Definitely in the long run, these are gonna be higher in price because first of all, it's a what the, second of all, it has some really great colorways, some rare colorways on here too. The combination was great. I think one colorway which could have been nice with this what the concept was the um, the Laney Fives. Not the white, not the white upper part, but just the blue and yellow. I don't know how they would have put it in, so at the same time, I don't know. It's so many combinations you could have done with this. I think it's great that they distinguish the left and right side with different colors. I think that's that was really crucial. Some people don't like that. But, you know, it's, it's boring when you have two of the same kind of piece of purses of like a what the. So, I'm asking you guys. Do you think this is one of the best what the colorways to release? I'm not going to say, I'm going to say for Jordan. Because if I say Nike too, then that's just a whole broader range. So, do you guys think this is one of the best what the colorways to release for a Jordan? I mean, I know Jordan and Nike are the same, but specifically just Jordan brand. Stay tuned and... Yeah, I'm back, guys. I got a lot of content, some awesome shoes to show you. And some, not even just shoes. I have some other little cool accessories and stuff like that to show you from some drops. Um, so, you know, subscribe if you like. I'm not forcing anyone, you know. Like this video, share it, and I appreciate the support from everyone. I know I've been lacking. I even had a couple people hit me up, which is actually really cool. And be like, yo, when are you posting again? And I was just like, I'm not really used to this. I'm like, are you from YouTube? They're like, yeah, I love your content. So I appreciate that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would cop these. Let me know if you did cop these. And let me know if you did like these. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Quick on foot look for you guys. My size. See the 3M coming through a little bit. Stay tuned, get some better looks at these, okay? Okay, baby, you already know the vibes is thumbnail time. It's been a little minute since I've done a thumbnail, to be honest. Alright, I think something works there. Let's see. Yeah, nah, I think, I think that's good.